Awareness Month. Each week on 12 News F4, we're talking about a different area of mental health with an expert from Rogers Behavioral Health in Walk. You can find our recent interviews by scanning that QR code that we will have for you. But first, we do want to talk about uh, joining us today as Rogers is Dr. Peggy Scallon, a psychiatrist and senior medical director for the Walk campus. So how much time for screen time is too much? Well, it depends on the age. Uh, it appears that kids under two should have no screen time and kids under 12 should have no more than an hour. And more than that, um, we'd say try to limit it to, to two hours a day. Now for most kids, that's a far cry from where they are right now. And so even just being able to cut back on screen time will help a lot from what they're currently doing. What are some of the potential impacts of too much screen time? Well, we know that when kids are using screens, they're not getting exercise, they're not socializing, they're not doing their homework, doing family chores, uh, they're not outside. So there are many things um, that just create an opportunity cost. And in addition to that, often the content is adversarial or problematic in some way. So um, there can be a lot of concerns with screen use. And screen use to an issue with adults, how are children and adults impacted differently with too much screen time? Yeah, we know that kids model what their parents do. And so if parents are using screen time at the expense of anything else, kids follow suit. And so parents really need to model their screen use. They also need to give kids their full attention. So when the child is present with them, being very aware of their screen use, putting it down, putting it out of reach, out of sight, and being fully present with your child is so important. Definitely important. What can you do? What are maybe some first steps to do to make sure that you are reducing that? Yeah, well, for kids, one thing that's important is to designate screen-free times and places. And so first off, phones should have a bedtime. Phones should not be in the bedroom with kids and they shouldn't sleep with their phones. Um, in addition to that, uh, meals should be screen free. And so everyone in the family should have their phones in a different room during meals. Uh, and so parents should really model that as well. And then there really should be a schedule that everybody adheres to. They need to get their responsibilities done before they use screens. Is there a number? that you can look at your phone and say, well, that's too much? Well, yeah, I mean, phones are great and, you know, we use them for many good things. And so, you know, the, the point is to just put some limits around it and make it sensible use. Um, really all devices do have native controls on them. Using those kinds of controls go a long way. I think one thing that parents often think is it, they can't control it. There's nothing they can do. And really, parents have a lot of control. They own the phones. They pay for the phones. And it, it is their prerogative to take the phones away if need be. Very, very true. <laughs> Definitely pay for everything. Thank you so much for your advice <laughs> and for your time this afternoon. Great. Thank you. And this month, we've also discussed the long-term impacts of the pandemic on our mental health. You can find that interview right now on the 12 News app. Just search mental health.